Hi, cool that you clicked. It has been a long time since my last video, but I'm back again and I brought a big update. First things first, as you can see, the environment is completely changed. I made a new level, which is an apartment or a gangster's hideout. The new gameplay tests are being made here because I have to make sure that the ragdolls and the physics are working properly. Also because there will be a lot of interaction with props and items. Graphics is also an important topic because I'm working on my custom post-processing effects and also custom lighting. Shader coding has been the most time I have been investing in. But sadly, I don't see the results that I wanted, so I moved on and just used Shader Graph instead. The results are good, but I think I will return to Shader Coding once the time feels right. All decals still are being made with a decal projector. but I would really like to make UV channels and draw on top of the textures, but my shader coding is not good enough. Anyway, the new map is an apartment, just like my very first map that I made, but this one has a different layout and I'm more happy with this layout because now the enemies can patrol, more about that later, but what I was mainly focusing on was creating props and decorations so the level looks more alive with small details like outlets or wrinkly blankets and creating game assets is actually the most fun for me. I started working on the AI as well, so the enemy can patrol now and it's all based on state machines. So what happens if the enemy is not knowing about my player's presence? What happens if the enemy sees me? And what weapon does the enemy have? It's all being managed by the state manager, which knows all patrolling points, cover points and the player position on the map. Also, each enemy is scanning the environment around itself, so it can recognize if there is a wall or not. If there is a wall, the enemy will turn into the opposite direction until there is no more obstacle in front of it. By that, I am trying to decrease the problem of enemies going through walls, since I changed from in-place animation to root motion. But of course, it's far from perfect and there are still a lot of bugs. I'm using animation layers as well for different scenarios such as the enemy is wounded or the enemy is smiling and or the enemy is frowning. I can make mouth animations fitting on the sentences that they are gonna say. Oh, but of course there will be not much talking because otherwise it would be way too much work for me. I had a huge chunk of code deleted. Okay, not deleted, I still have it as a backup but I rewrote the code for the enemy behavior because as I said earlier, I'm using a state machine now and I'm doing the same thing for the active rectal as well. And I gotta say, the performance gets way better, but bear in mind, of course, there are frame drops here and there.
And of course, I hope you saw my last video. I was working on a new shader, decal shader as you want, which has now pouring down blood. I have 12 different versions of it. And once the blood hits the wall and it's being analyzed as a wall, the blood starts pouring down. However, it's not happening if the decal spawns on a leveled material such as the floor. And that is all what I got for now. See ya!